it is about to be 6 a.m. and that is the first sentence I have said today. In this video, I'll be showing you what I feed my toddler and I also wanna thank KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. This morning, I'll be making him egg donuts or eggles. We gotta preheat the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So in a bowl, we're gonna crack five eggs and now I'm just gonna whisk all of this. You're not gonna be eating all five of these eggs today. This is something that I like to make in advance, so that way we've got something to eat for the week. So now we're gonna add some veggies. Last night I steamed some broccoli. And then I'm also gonna get like one carrot. And then I'm just gonna grate the carrot. I don't wanna overwhelm it with vegetables or else he won't eat it. He freaking clocks it, man. So I've got my carrots and then I'm also going to chop up my broccoli into really tiny pieces. And I'm just gonna put all the veggies in the eggs. Give a nice little mix up. I'm gonna coat the donut molding with some olive oil spray. I always feel like I'm spray painting when I do this. And then I'm gonna fill the mold like halfway. I have learned that if you fill it too much, it will start puffing out. All right, folks, let's pop these in the oven for around 10 minutes. Also, I realized if you're gonna eat these, you should probably put some salt in the eggs, but my son hates seasoning. He likes things when they're bland AF. Honestly, guys, I don't even wake up this early anymore. I hope that this doesn't just depict that, like every day I wake up at 5.30 a.m. No, I woke up at 5.30 because I wanted to film. My toddler now wakes up anywhere between 6.45 to 7.30 a.m. So that window is pretty large. Whoa. Look how cute these are. These are so stinking cute. So instead of icing, we're gonna be using a little bit of mozzarella cheese. So while we wait for these to cool, I'm gonna start plating. Okay, so in this compartment, I'm going to be adding some overnight oats. This is essentially just milk, oats, chia seeds, some vanilla protein powder, goji berries, and that's it. Should I call these egg donuts or should I call them, call them eggles? In this side, gonna add some blueberries and there we have it we've got breakfast should i eat one of these donuts i might as well bon appetit mm. oh that's good egg donut. yeah okay you ready choco choco yeah it's a circle So before we crack on over to lunch, I wanted to open a very special package. Lennon's KiwiCo Panda Crate has arrived and this is always such an exciting time because this means we've got a fresh new rotation of activities and toys for him. This comes every other month and we have been loving KiwiCo ever since Lennon was a couple months old. It's been transitioning with him, which has been incredible. The Panda Crate line is specifically designed from baby age group zero to 36 months. This has been a godsend because now I don't need to frantically search online for the best items for our son. Each panda crate is already research backed and developmentally appropriate for his age. We're also at a point where our son is becoming more autonomous and I love that the panda crate encourages him to play more independently. I obviously love to get involved, but it's so cute observing how he wants to tinker around with things. So if you're interested in getting your own subscription, you can use my code GENIM for 20% off your first Panda Crate. This is a must if you have any babies or toddlers in your family. And honestly, it's an even better gift for those that do. So if you guys want to, click the link in my description box and check it out. Okie dokie, it is time for lunch and we're gonna get a little bit more ambitious, but I assure you it will still be fairly quick to make. We're gonna make a little bento box, cute. So first up, we're gonna prepare the sausage. I just have these little like chicken apple sausages that I got at Whole Foods. This is gonna be for the little octopus. Let's make six of them. We're just gonna cut little legs on it. So we're gonna slice it once that way, slice it the other way. Boom, okay. I'm gonna transfer this all into a pot. You can obviously fry them, but I just prefer boiling them. We're gonna boil them for around, I don't know, 10 minutes. See how that looks. So as it cooks, the legs are just gonna flare out so it looks like little octopus or octopi. Dang, I honestly think you only need to boil these for like five minutes. Pulled out the little sausages and they're ready to go. But before we decorate them, I'm just gonna let them cool off. So while that happens, I'm just going to start creating the little rice balls. In the chance he does not eat the sausages, I've also prepared some boiled chicken. 
This is also something that I made the other night and I'm gonna shred it with my fingers. And then using a knife, I'm just going to make it into little tiny pieces. I'm gonna add it to my bowl of white rice. I'm also gonna add a bit of broccoli and then I'm gonna add it to the mixture as well. Mix this all together. I'm also gonna add some furikake. This is like a really delicious seasoning. This like adds your salt, it adds a little bit of sugar, seaweed, sesame seeds. It's really good. Mm-hmm. So bomb. Now I got my gloves and I'm just gonna roll them up into balls. Okay. Sausage is all cooled. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got some black sesame seeds. I deposited a, just a, a few of them on this plate so that I can use these for the eyeballs. I'm gonna get a little squirt of mayonnaise on the side. This is gonna kind of act like our glue. I think this is like a cute octopus. So I'm just gonna get my finger. I'm gonna like smear it. Then I'm gonna plop. There we have it. A little octopus. I think I'm just gonna do it to two. I don't think he's gonna eat this. There we go. All right, plating will be fairly simple. I'm gonna add three rice balls. We'll do four. Our little octopus, octopi. So I got his favorite grapes right here. I'm gonna add some sliced cucumber. Will he eat them? Probably not. And then we're all finished with lunch. What's it? What's it? It's a, it's an octopus. Octopus. Oh. For dinner, we're gonna be making a household staple here. It's gonna be yakisoba, which is Japanese fried noodle. Fast, delicious, and a crowd favorite. I'm gonna start off with an onion. So I'm just gonna use maybe like a quarter of an onion. Then I'm gonna just cut it into thin slices. Okay, I'm just gonna transfer this onto a plate. I'm gonna go in with a zucchini. I'm gonna julienne this. That looks good. And then the final vegetable, we've got some carrots. Perfect. Just get some garlic up in here. And then you're just gonna mince it. The prep is finished, now we just gotta fry it. Nice, soft, and beautiful. So I think it's gonna be time to add the noodles. So this is just a yakisoba packet that I got at the Korean Mart. But instead of using the seasoning that's inside the packet, I'm just gonna use stuff that's at my house. This is essentially just like a, a cooked ramen packet. I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water. Kind of loosen everything up. So now for seasoning, I'm gonna use uh, maybe like a teaspoon of oyster sauce. And then a little drizzle of soy sauce. Okay guys, let me just try this. Mm. And we're all done. This is gonna be my dinner too. All right, now the fun part, plating. So I'm gonna, this will be the yakisoba section. It'd be kind of like slick with how much of the vegetable shows. I have to kind of like cover it. In this section, I'm just gonna add some shredded chicken. He likes it separate. The last section, some sliced oranges. Okay. Also add some furikake. And boom, dinner is finished. That took absolute no time. Also for the chicken, if you don't wanna boil it yourself, you could always get a rotisserie chicken, have it in the fridge, take it out as needed. I feel like chicken is probably like the protein that anchors all our meals. Let's go see if he likes it. Okay. 